What is going on guys? Bengalian here coming back at you with another video. The long-awaited, long overdue start of the San Francisco 49ers franchise in Madden 18 Connected Franchise Mode. This is the starting lineup for week number one. I'm going to try it out in this live commentary face cam style um, that many of you were suggesting. If you want me to do a post -com, uh, I will consider it as I will drag this in. But here we go. I'm excited. Week one is finally here. These are the starters. These are the players that we're going to make come out here and play their all for this game against the Carolina Panthers. It is a staggering difference in team skill from the Panthers to the 49ers. You have a former MVP quarterback in Cam Newton going up an untested late round draft pick rookie in C.J. Beathard. He played well in the preseason. We're hoping now that he can come out here and lead the 49ers to not only their first win, but, I mean, a dominating performance over a very obviously better team. But um, this is the only time I'm going to address it now in week one. Sliders, I did that in the last video. These are going to be hard sliders. I'm going to address this from somewhat of a third party perspective, although I am obviously controlling. I'm going to be taking it as more of a commentator overall, I would say. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a tough game. I really don't necessarily expect to get the win as you wouldn't expect the 49ers to beat the Carolina Panthers, but nevertheless, that's what's going to be expected of them. That's what's going to be asked of the San Francisco 49ers. We're going to come out here. We're going to have to get the job done. Here are some players you can look out for. Of course, the two core uh, cores of each defense um, in Luke Keekley and Navarro Bowman, both inside linebackers of their respective teams. But here we go, live from Levi's Stadium, which can be rearranged into the word live. Coincidence, maybe? I don't know. Um, but here we go. We are underway nearly. Moments away from kickoff for the start of the NFL season. It's been long overdue. We've all been waiting. And we've all been waiting for the San Francisco 49ers franchise to finally be underway. There's Kyle Juszczyk. He'll likely be a target that we look for a lot um, out of the backfield and perhaps even lining him up in the side. But here we go. We're going to skip that. And we're going to get right into it. 49ers are kicking off. Let's get it. And with Robbie Gold on the kickoff specialist duties, we are underway here at Levi's Stadium. And that ball will sail out of the end zone. Touchback for the first play of the 2017-2018 NFL season. Here we go, second and nine now. Cam Newton going to call a slight audible play action quarterback draw, and he doesn't even accelerate at all. Loses a yard that time, and it will bring up third and ten. Here are some of the players that we were without for this week one matchup. Out for the season, all of them. We have Ronald Blair, we have Malcolm Smith. Players that might not have made a significant impact. But Malcolm Smith certainly would have had a chance to make that starting lineup, but it will be now third and long for Cam and the Carolina Panthers. And here it is, outside, complete to Ed Dixon, but right there is the rookie, Reuben Foster, for the tackle, as they do not come anywhere close to the first down. And that should likely force a punt. And that will bring out rookie quarterback C.J. Beathard getting the start over Brian Hoyer. A very controversial decision to start the season. But nevertheless, we're going to make the most of this situation. C.J. Beathard is. And hopefully, he does not crack under the pressure of a rookie quarterback in his first NFL game and start. He's going to check down to the flats for Carlos Hyde. Stays in bounds on a somewhat errant throw there from C.J. Beathard. And that will bring up second and five. Second and five, play action for Beathard. Looking for a receiver. There is a flag, and C.J. Beathard's going to fire that one at Luke Keekley. Thought it was maybe a free play. He took a chance, and the coverage from Luke Keekley was just far too good. We'll see what the flag is. It's going to be a holding, and that ball is certainly going back in favor uh, of the Carolina Panthers, and not a good start to the career of C.J. Beathard. Interception on his first play. Second and nine. Ed Dixon is the motion man. He's going to go straight back. Here's a handoff. Jonathan Stewart is wrapped up, but DeForest Buckner cannot force him to get uh, a shorter gain than what he got, about maybe three or four. That brings up another third down. Can Carolina convert this time? They got about five yards on third and long last time. Can they do it this time? 
We will see. Four minutes and 30 seconds to go. And that is going to be a huge sack. Elvis Doomerville forces the Panthers potentially out of field goal range as he picks up his 100th career sack. What a play by Elvis Doomerville. Absolutely overpowering the right tackle of the Carolina Panthers, getting to Cam Newton, who never saw him coming. And that is a very crucial sack and a very crucial moment. And Carolina will punt the interception. Does not end up costing the 49ers any points. So far, just six total yards between each team. Here's the 49ers on the run. Carlos Hyde stuffed in the backfield. Absolutely nowhere to go. That's the veteran defensive tackle now. Star Latulale bringing him down. If Star Latulale's name was Kawan Short, which it is not. So that was K1 Short bringing him down. Now third and 12 for the 49ers. Here we go. Kittle looking for someone to throw to. He's going to go downfield, and that is intercepted by the captain, Captain Munderland. Beathard looking for a target. And again, the nerves of the rookie are showing here. Two interceptions in his first two drives. Not the way you want to start out a career. Third and a crucial six yards for Cam Newton as there are a few open receivers, and he's going to fumble. It's a sack by Solomon Thomas, picked up by Andrew Norwell before being tackled by Eric Reed, What a play by the rookie Solomon Thomas, picking up his first career sack. And it's a sack fumble at that, potentially forcing the Carolina Panthers out of field goal range. It's going to be a long one. Graham Gano should be able to notch this one from the 34. Going to be about a 51-yard field goal attempt. Here it is up, and it is good straight down the middle. And Carolina will take a 3-0 lead. C.J. Beathard looking to do something better on this time. He's going to throw outside and completely miss Kyle Juszczyk. Had an open receiver downfield. He chose to go to the check down. Could not hit him. Very effective play call and nothing out of it. Second and ten. Passing again. Beathard going to go underneath. It's Marquise Goodwin going to spin back and thought they might have had their first down there. It looks like it's going to be about a yard short. C.J. Beathard now has as many uh, completions to his team as he does to the other team. Third and one. Kyle Juszczyk in the game. Might have to look out for him. It's going to be a stretch. Here is Carlos Hyde. Looks like he got the first down. Forward progress does indeed give him that. And the 49ers finally have their first first down of the game. But that looks like it's going to be the end of the first quarter as the 49ers will elect not to hurry to the line and get a playoff here. And, uh, not a great first quarter, I will not lie. Obviously, looking to do uh, a little bit more than we did. It's unfortunate. These things happen. It's a rookie quarterback. Mistakes are made. His accuracy isn't there. Decision-making, perhaps not there yet. But on second and six, we'll see if he can make up for it. He's going out to the flat. It's rookie tight end George Kittle for a couple of yards. Maybe Beathard is getting in some kind of, a, some kind of groove here. A little bit of momentum on a few completions there in a row. 49ers getting positive yardage, and that's really the main thing, as we have not seen for much of the game. Audible at the line. It's going to be a handoff, and Carlos Hyde looks like he might have stretched and got the first down, and he does. The drive stays alive, and it will be third and six. Here is the snap, and that is a sack. Joe Staley destroyed off the line by Mario Addison. Beathard had little to no time to throw. Look for something to develop, and a promising looking drive ends in failure as the 49ers will punt here we go cam newton looking to pass here and he is sacked in the backfield again of course in the backfield it's elvis doomerville his second sack of the game in as many quarters look at the old man still got a few tricks up his sleeve he's got 10 sacks with the broncos he's got 10 sacks with the ravens he's already on pace for a ton of sacks so far here with the 49ers. Love to see it. Back in action are the San Francisco 49ers here. Looking to do a bit on offense. We'll see if they can do anything. Four minutes to work with. Should be enough time if they want to score, but the defensive line of the Carolina Panthers has proven to be quite stout as there have been little to no running lanes um, for much of this game for the 49ers. Seems like it's like four yards or none. Here's going to be a play action. Rolling out. Looking for a receiver. Beathard going to throw. It's a great diving catch from Pierre Garçon. That's a target Pierre. Excuse me, CJ Beathard is going to have to utilize quite a lot if they want to get anything going on offense. And that is a great first down. Amazing play there from Pierre Garçon. 
flashback to Indianapolis, where he was just getting his start with Peyton Manning. Looking quite good in there. C.J. Beathard going to across the middle to the speedy receiver out of Texas, Marquise Goodwin. And it's just come through from my sound technician that the audio has not been in sync for the entire game, but that is fixed now. Third and one for the 49ers. Give me a handoff to Kyle Juszczyk. Does Juice get it? Kyle Juszczyk has the first down. Love to see it. San Francisco is moving the ball a little bit here. Slowly but surely, it looks like. First and ten. And Juszczyk does not pick up the block. Carlos Hyde averaging one yard on the ground. There is absolutely no run blocking from the San Francisco offensive line so far. They're preparing to run the ball again though. Carlos Hyde stood up for, again, gain of zero slash one yards. There's no push from the 49ers offensive line at all. They give up blocks literally immediately. Here we go, third and 10. Beathard stepping up in the pocket. And there's no run blocking or pass blocking at all as K1 Short brings down the quarterback. We have a left guard just standing there blocking nobody. And after a somewhat promising first possession uh, here after the two minute warning, the 49ers are gonna come away again with nothing. Looks like the Panthers will be content with taking this to the half up three nothing in perhaps the least exciting game of all time, but they're actually going to call another play. Cam Newton stepping up in the pocket and goes down. All that extra play was was give Solomon Thomas another sack on the stat sheet. The rookie coming out here with two sacks. Elvis Dumerville, two sacks. The defense has played very, very well in containing Cam Newton and the explosive Panthers, but uh, the offense has been just as stagnant, unfortunately, as the Panthers, if not even less so. 49ers will receive here to start the second half. It's Marquise Goodwin again. Looking to showcase the speed here a little bit. He takes a monstrous hit. Goes down at the 26. Just a little bit better than a touchback. Now second and 17 for the 49ers. Looking to throw to somebody. Going downfield, and that is a terrible pass from Beathard. Picked off there by Adams. And uh, that is not a good throw. Had a potentially open receiver on the streak there. Beathard just missed him. And we see down at the bottom ticker there, Kansas City actually upsets New England. What are the odds of that? Here's third and inches though, it's a huge stop. Aaron Lynch, the new converted 4-3 outside linebacker, coming up and making the stop, forcing another field goal attempt for the Carolina Panthers. Graham Gano is one for one on the day. Does he make it two for two? Kick is up, and it is straight through the uprights. 6-0 is the score here in the third quarter with just above six remaining. Can the 49ers answer and finally put some points up on the board? 49ers definitely have to get Pierre Garçon a little bit more involved, but there's just been little, little to no time. But here's Pierre Garçon laying out to make a catch seemed unnecessary. But Pierre Garçon has another one to his highlight reel today. First down with a six or seven yard completion. That's probably the goal. Beathard sack again. Looking to throw. Maybe try to throw it away. Doesn't do it for whatever reason. And that is fourth and 18 after another K1 short sack. Unbelievable. Another first and 10. Funches on the outside. Kelvin Benjamin, the lone receiver on the left side. That is a play action to Jonathan Stewart. Looks like it was a screen and somehow another pass to Devin Funches is complete. He spins out one cornerback and they're moving the ball very effectively now all of a sudden. It's the Devin Funches show. Christian McCaffrey finally checks in the game. Don't believe we've seen him all game. Here he is and it is a handoff to Christian McCaffrey. Putting on a little bit of a move there, four yards on what is his first NFL carry. Third and six. Wouldn't be surprised if they just run it, but they go to the air. No pressure, and that is wide open over the middle, and somehow intercepted by Navarro Bowman. 
That ball was thrown to two wide open receivers and two of them with a miscommunication and somehow turned into a Navarro Bowman interception and now the 49ers are back on offense with a chance. Need to get in the end zone. First and 10 handoff, Carlos Hyde. Decent gain there, about four, we've seen that. As it looks like CJ Beathard opting to go into the hurry up offense, first time we've seen that all game. Catching the Panthers off guards perhaps, off guard, but no. Charles Johnson wasn't even set, somehow made the tackle, wasn't even blocked, and that's gonna be third and five. And here that is, Beathard throwing off his back foot complete to Carlos Hyde for the first down. Pressure came in hot. Beathard actually handled it quite well. Made the correct read. Threw to the wide open receiver. Accurate enough. And it looks like the 49ers could be in business here. I'm saying that all game. Maybe it'll be finally uh, be true. Beathard outside. It's the speedy Marquise Goodwin. He will be pushed out of bounds by Mario Addison at the 50. Beathard making some audibles at the line. Here's third and 21. They need something big. Keekly on the fucking blitz. My bad. That's not... That's not what we're here for. Fourth and 30. Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's frustrating. It looks like on fourth and 30, surprise, surprise, the San Francisco 49ers will have to punt. And that punt is to Christian McCaffrey, who calls for the fair catch at the 24. Just above four minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. We'll see what, if anything, the 49ers can do to get the ball back and hopefully get some kind of a point up on the board before the game ends. Gonna need a big stop here on third and six. Pressure getting into the backfield. Cam Newton rolling out, throwing open is Devin Funches. As Aaron Lynch was decent in coverage, but Devin Funches was just too fast. The wide receiver tight end hybrid there, making plays. Of course, played a lot of tight end at Michigan. Carolina Panthers use him as more of a wide receiver. And that is a first down conversion. The 49ers absolutely did not need. Pressure was almost going to get there. And there's another tackle from Ruben Foster. But the Panthers looking like they could ice this game at any moment. As we're going to be taking it to the two-minute warning. Here's another run. It's going to be a great tackle in the backfield. And it looks like the Panthers are quickly approaching field goal range. That would probably end the game. 49ers need to come up with a big stop. Game on the line. Third and six. This is undoubtedly the biggest snap of the ball game. Minute and nine to play. It's going to be a handoff. Eric Arson in the backfield, but it's Aaron Lynch, who's played amazingly the entire game. It makes sense it would be him coming up with a gigantic play for his sixth tackle. That will force the Panthers out of field goal range, but they are going for it. No, they are kicking the field goal. It's a deep one from the 41. This is a huge kick here. It is up, and it is wide left. It had the distance. A minute and one second to go from the 48. 49ers in a short field situation. A touchdown and an extra point would win the game. Beathard rolling out. Looking to make something happen with his feet. He's going to take off. Gets a good block there. Beathard down the sideline. Fumbles out of bounds at the 33. The 49ers are under the legs of C.J. Beathard. Have gotten their longest play of the game in 19 yards. 52 seconds on the clock. Beathard facing pressure, throwing it's a terrible pass. Overthrow City from CJ Beathard here this afternoon. 25 seconds, snap the ball, CJ. And he gets sacked. Trying to find somebody open and they can't. It looks like it's gonna come down to a final play here for 23 yards. It looked like for a moment, if only for a moment that they had a chance, but this likely will be the game as Carlos Hyde barely makes it back to the line. Beathard looking to throw, rolling out, and he will go deep to the end zone. Doesn't even have close to the arm. It's picked off by Worley, and that is the game. Daryl Worley seals it. 
as the San Francisco 49ers, San Francisco 49ers, uh, lost as they played very badly. 6 nothing is your final score in this game. Let me know what you guys think of this format I do in the video. I can always do post comps. I can always kind of change up the way that I do it. Um, but that is the game. Analysis. It was a rough one. It was certainly a rough one. C.J. Beathard, 93 yards, no touchdowns. Outplayed Cam to a degree. Obviously, Cam Newton did not throw four interceptions. C.J. Beathard was errant the entire game. Rushing, I mean, Carlos Hyde had nowhere to go. Average 1.2 on the ground. Receiving, we tried to get our guys involved. Pierre Garçon really wasn't getting open. And when he was, he was diving. So there was no room for yards after the catch. Blocking was horrific. Joe Staley, Zane Beatles, Daniel Kilgore allowed way more sacks than this. He was abused the entire game. I don't know why it only says one. Lakin Thomas and the entire offensive line let up a sack, at least, which is poor. On defense, K1 short, four sacks. However, Solomon Thomas showed up, two sacks. Doomerville, two sacks. I mean, the defense played well. I mean, Navarro Bowman had an interception. Defense played well. No real complaints there. But the offense was non-existent. They just couldn't do anything. Um, and I think that will probably be the story of this season under C.J. Beathard or Brian Hoyer or whatever direction we decide to go to. Brian Hoyer might have to get the start for week two. But guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below. And uh, I will see you in week two when the 49ers go up to Seattle at CenturyLink Field to play the 1-0 Seattle Seahawks. Anyway, I will see you guys there. Thank you so much again for watching. I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Shit, don't